when I started, uh, cataract surgery consisted of grapey knife incisions and extracapsular extractions. And then we graduated to intracapsular cataract surgery. And Nobby O'Brien, I'm mentioning names, is that all right? Yeah, Nobby O'Brien was my uh, senior. I was his registrar at one stage. And uh, he had a, his own techniques and most things. If the cataract, intracapsular cataract came out without breaking the vitreous face, he deliberately broke the vitreous face and squeezed and pressed on the eye to squeeze a little bit of vitreous out. And then he reformed it with air before he sewed, sewed the eye up with five or six stitches. And uh, this, was, uh, this was his technique and I don't know how much damage he did, but it gives me the shudders every time I think of it now. And the other point he uh, made was a patient came to see me once with a history from Nobby O'Brien. And uh, I said, what's all this about? And he said, oh, the nurse told me to take the card and to come down to see you for my eye test. And uh, I said, why didn't uh, Nobby do it? Oh, Dr O'Brien, of course. And he said, oh, he died. I said, no, he didn't. I saw him yesterday. <laughs> he said, yeah, that was yesterday. He's dead. He died. I said, are you sure? He said, yes, I was there. I said, what happened? He said, well, he got this machine with a light on it that you look through to look in the eyes and he bent over to look in my eye and he just kept going and hit the ground. <laughs> and the poor fellow was white and shaking and when I went to examine him in the ophthalmoscope, <laughs> he nearly fainted. <laughs> so I said, come back tomorrow. <laughs> and Ron Lowe used to be very strict about his uh, registrars. He thought they should get lots of experience. So he insisted that everyone did one squint one glaucoma operation and one cataract. Uh, that was his ration. He gave each one of us one of each, you know. And uh, I must tell you, the first day, uh, how to make friends and influence people, especially among your own registrars. When I went to the INA hospital, uh, the superintendent handed me the book of instructions. He said, I've just had this printed, would you check it out? So I, I'd done a lot of proofreading as a student uh, on the side to earn some money. So I went through it and I corrected all the mistakes and the punctuation and corrected the grammar and everything and then I took it back to him. And he said, that's not what I meant. I meant you to read them and see if there's anything you didn't agree with. So anyway, by the, the, by the time I'd finished there, the day was nearly over and I said, well, I go home. He said, yeah, just check the timetable and see, make sure you're not on duty. And of course I was on duty, casualty. So I found out where casualty was. <laughs> and. Uh, introduced myself and then I went to dinner and I have a special interest in glaucoma so they were talking about the acute glaucoma patient upstairs so I said uh, oh I wouldn't mind going to see it so I wandered upstairs and there's this lady who was vomiting and had acute glaucoma and she was vomiting an awful lot so I, I examined her and I went back to the resident and said the reason she's vomiting is she's got an impacted inguinal hernia and uh, so we rang the, she rang the surgeon and they said, put the gastric tube down. And the resident said, oh, I don't know how to do that. I said, you want me to do it? You know, I was very keen and I'd done it before. So I put a gastric, and he said, okay. He said, while you're doing that, said the, um, uh, the ear, nose and throat registrar, there's a lady up there with a dislocated jaw I've been meaning to put back in place. Pop that back into position for me. So I put the tube down and that was all right. And then I went to see this lady with a dislocated jaw and I popped her jaw back. And uh, she was very grateful, and I went back down and spoke to, uh, to finish my dinner. And the chap said, oh, um, I said, oh, the lady was very grateful that I popped her jaw back. She says it was like that for three days. And they said, oh, you put it back? He said, oh my God. <laughs> he, he said, she was booked for operation tonight because they couldn't get it back. <laughs> but I think they must have given her the uh, pre-medication and relaxed the muscles a bit. <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, so I made myself out to be a real smart aleck that night. <laughs>